Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Comedians open cards! Well, no luck running into Gillis <clears throat> before the SNL thing. Uh, fucking cold too, so I didn't. I didn't really film anyone. Uh, I got to hand out two packs of these fucking things, though. I got to give one of these to Ari, and I, I got to give one of these to Aaron Berg. Uh, Ari seemed a little dumbfounded, but I saw him in the freaking. He was walking out. I was walking into the stand. Uh, he asked me what was up. I mean, he totally recognized me, which was cool. And I said, hey, I got something for you. Reached into my pocket, gave him a pack of his cards. Uh, you know, so that's cool. I don't know what he did with them. I don't know if he opened them. I don't know if he threw them away. I don't know what happened. He was uh, on the on the list to do a set uh, for the free show Monday night, which was freaking rocking that Berg runs uh he used to do it with feehan but i think she's uh i don't know if she's still doing it um oh my god tj miller closed it uh asad benbo who i was recommended to me freaking did it uh he's hilarious um doing school shooting uh freaking stuff he's young kid uh hilarious he crushed um like i said ari was supposed to be on that show and then I gave him the Berg, and um, he seemed thrilled to get the things, but I don't know if he really looked at them. And then I think he opened them uh, <clears throat> with other people and stuff, so. Uh, but I was watching the show, so. Because he was leaving. Um, so, hey, I think, uh, I don't know, here's something coming up now. Hey, so we're still at the Vermont Comedy Club. It's a Wednesday. It's the open mic, and it's comedians opening cards, no coffee. And I got another open micer. Um... Hello, my name is Matt Haverty of Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, and you've only done comedy like a couple months or so. Month and some change. But so... damn, a confident gentleman on the stage sat at the sat at the stool. I didn't want to record any of that stuff, you know, not yet. But anyway, anyway, Matt, was it? Yes. Okay, super. So, did you see any packs that were interesting to you? I definitely do. So, I'm enjoying Ninja Turtles. Mm. We got right here. So, right. I'm a big fun fact to those who may or may not be interested. I was a huge Ninja Turtles guy growing up. Hello, stranger. Um, I was a huge Ninja Turtles guy growing up, and this is actually my favorite Michelangelo. Fun fact about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when you are talking, this is a true story. If you are at a bar, I was once wearing a Ninja Turtles pin, like on my overalls. Sure. And I was talking to this woman that I thought was very beautiful, and she was like, What's your pin? And I kind of elaborated a little too hard about the Ninja Turtles lore. And right. I got to, like, Donatello does machines. And right. she just mid-sentence right was, like, turned and yeah. looked away. And I was like, I admire your decision, but ouch. At least get let me get to, like, Raphael. Yeah. Because, you know, I understand, though. So that's, like, a fun fact. If someone, Because she wasn't into it. That's no, the whole thing. No, and I don't know why, like... By the way, this is just, like, advice for anyone. If anyone ever asks about what you're wearing... The lore about what you're wearing is not the interesting part. You just kind of got to pivot very quickly. You have to move quickly and just make a small fact about right. it and not be too interested in it because she is probably just trying to make a small conversation with right. you and doesn't give a fuck about yep. the pen. She just wants to say hi. But if you go too geeky into the thing, she's going to be like, this dude is a nerd. Yeah, I'm not. I'm no longer <laughs> interested. What's yes. your? What's the pen? Oh, it's the Ninja Turtles. Uh, Raphael, actually, one of the Ninja Turtles, 6'3", which I am also, if you didn't, and then just pivot. I'm not, actually. I'm 5'11 and 3 quarters. That's official information. Yeah. Um, I don't like to lie. I'm like, I tend to tend to go honesty. I'm trying to look at uh, like what else we got for the cards. Oh, I'm liking. You're, you're, okay, you're thinking a new one maybe. I'm liking Hunger Games. Yeah, no one's ever opened Hunger Games. Do you open them? Yeah, you're gonna open. I them. can open. The, you're all gonna of open these them. Cards. Well, you get to pick one pack. And okay. You don't get to open them. I'm all. definitely going with this one then. Yeah, no, no one's, one's opened Hunger Games because right, Turtles is pretty popular. No, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evidently not in the Burlington area. Um, I think um. Um, um, Sandy opened uh, Turtles okay. uh, months ago when I was here. All right, let's see if I can finesse this. And he got a card where they, 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 there was one where they had taken off the freaking thing. The mask? Yeah. Just civilian turtle? Like yeah, it was man. like he had the mask off. It Nine was kind of weird. Like, <laughs> wow, it's like a nude 
turtle because you know that's their only like clothing well it's the only defining like, right it's like a weird you know i can't believe they sold those toys the way they did because it's literally just a different bandana and then they were like, well it's very smart time. because then you could you could easily uh recreate them this you is... know the first year that the turtle toys came out the head is rubber and it's squishy is it really? the second year it's hard the plastic changed the first one it's like a vinyl squishy thing Jeez. so if ever you're at the flea market and you're looking at old turtles and you can if you can squeeze the head that's the first year they came out those have a higher value than the later ones very nice yes that's my a little bit of that's a bit of Ninja Turtles. That's my turtle fact. That but... would have worked, I think. I think that would have been like... A, everyone would love that one. Wow. I was too busy. This but is... you went with Hunger Games. That yeah. was a... That's so, probably like a your uh, generation kind of movie. That's the thing. So I was in... show. I was in fifth grade, I think. It was 2012 when this was big. Who was the big uh, uh, girl with the arch? She was like an archer girl. Katniss Everdeen. Kat and who was the actress who played that That was girl. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. I always oh. get my Lopez's and my Lawrence's confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that yeah. was Jennifer Lawrence. And like, so I'm looking at the cards. Did you now. ever see that video of Jennifer Lawrence and um, um, that old actor guy who was like the coolest dude, um, Jack Nicholson? No. It's like an award show. Like Jack Nicholson is sitting at a ch sitting at the thing, and she's like young as shit, and she comes by, and it's like they're fucking tonight. You like watch the video. You watch like, it happen in real time. Well, yeah, you're like, oh my god, like that's gonna occur later on this evening. It's we'll, so crazy. We'll I'll, to, I'm gonna splice that in. We'll have to acknowledge, like the foot, like the actual clip. Of yes, I'll, that's what I do. So like, what do you do? That's the first time I think I've ever felt like actual shock. <laughs> you can see it. I hope you got a fan here. in things that are of interest so like if you had picked turtles and it was right, a thing right. i would like clip in, you a little clip turtle in the turtle. Yeah, yeah so i'll clip in, in whatever this case raw i'll probably click that in because that's insane well, people at home decide whether or not jack nicholson's charisma at 70 was working out for jennifer at the oh time. he totally screwed her that i mean night. he could have uh, if, if you watch her how if, much if how he, interested she was and then he, it was just like oh the, it's going down if but he, hey, cool. If he, I mean, I hey, it know, was a mutual like if whatever. Jack Nicholson if everyone's was in the happy, it's area, all cool. You never know. If he said hi to me. I'm be like, what up, Jack? Loved you in the Shining, exactly. and also that movie exactly. where you were in a rom com. Exactly. Let me this tell you. Is... Let me tell you all about Donatello. Without <laughs> <laughs> Jack Nicholson, he'd be like, who the hell is Donatello? Exactly. Be like, oh, he's does machines, and then Jack would already be moved uh, exactly. on. Exactly. And also. Uh, senile. This is interesting. So, so you got to show the thing. Yeah, to the, yeah, yeah. So, okay, here's what we got. We got the classic logo. Okay. Uh, Are the, all the backs games. that way? No, this is like I guess part of oh a part of a puzzle. Yeah, to, yeah, So as to buy more cards. Right. Exactly. This is the thing. So uh, what I always loved about oh it's like, a Marvel the uh, YA like y youth uh, <laughs> young uh, yeah. adults young, young adult, adult novels, yeah, yeah. which is still my reading level, unfortunately. Mm. I have not progressed. But like, it was always like. Imagine if the cliques in high school were designated by the government. And, like, that's stuff that I've always found really interesting. That's what so the Hunger like, Games was more. Kind of. I mean, so this one was, like, kind of the OG in terms of, like, it caught a huge following. The movie made a F ton of money. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. so they had, like, a It was like, book, bunch, too, first, probably. Right. And then yeah. they had a bunch of rip-offs where it was, like, like, Divergent came out. And then it was, like, Maze Runner. This is all stuff for, like, I don't know if you've been exposed to this media. Because I didn't yeah, see you had sure, a son. Yeah, sure, sure. But, like... It's all the same shit. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, of course. You rehash the old right. stuff to what if, uh, make them money. What yeah. if losers and nerds and jocks were, like, fighting each other and they were all very beautiful? I love a, tr a love triangle. This is a fun... So, I don't, have you ever heard of The uh, the Summer I Turned Pretty? 
I don't know that, no. I don't blame you. I would sure. even be concerned if you had heard of it. Okay. But it's this, like, uh, Netflix, or it's an Amazon Prime, Prime series, and I eat it up. Like, mm. I have this weird back catalog of, like, I love teenage movie trash. So, like, the straight-to-DVD American Pie movies are, like... Right. Well, you're not too gospel. outside of that age range, so that makes sense. Right. It, but, I mean, so... A lot of it is like I love a love triangle. I love watching like one girl. This this show that I'm talking about, she shows up to this island in uh, Cape Cod or whatever, and she's like, "Which which of these wealthy boys will I choose from? They're both brothers." And like I could inject that straight into my bloodstream. Like I'll watch it forever. Right, and that's right, right. I feel like Hunger Games is like the OG of that. that By the way, Fox. I don't mean to. That almost sounds like. That almost sounds a little girly. Oh, it's very girly. Okay, I love right. It. Like, I eat it yeah, up. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay. No, but, dude, it's you know, my like, favorite. It seems like a lot of that. Like sometimes you you often hear, you'll hear like women who are like so into that sort of. But that's like a that's like a more of a mo- emotional kind of thing. I would imagine oh, dude, that kind I, of stuff. Would you? I eat that girly shit up. for hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah. Like, well, because that's the thing. It really like, works for you too, in a way. Well, you know what it is. Like, I think a lot of times, I think the instinct of a lot of people is to write off things that they're not like. They're like, ah, that's not my demographic. Ergo, I won't. You know, whatever. It's like just trash to me. Like. If something is bad in, in a way that's engaging, it's like so indistinguishable for me that it's of any sort of quality that I just like love it as if it was good sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I kind of started like hate watching like this is so dumb. I'm so above. And then this you get program. into it, sure, sure, sure. Like a it. soap opera back in the day is and what it, people right. you'd be you'd be sick and you'd be like oh you'd have nothing to watch. Right. And then <laughs> you'd watch freaking uh, that stupid game show with a guy who died who spayed and neutered all the cats and dogs. You'd watch that show, and then maybe there'd be a soap opera, and then you'd have to... Wheel after... of Fortune? No, uh... Jeopardy? No, not Jeopardy. The Jeopardy. Price is Right. Price is Right. You'd watch Price is Right whenever you... when I was a kid. You were sick, and then maybe you'd watch some stupid, like, soap opera thing, and then you'd, like... Well, you'd have something to talk to, like, the girls at school about. Because right. they, like, were into it, so you're like, well... Fuck, I guess I'll watch this a little bit more because then I can talk then, with Cheryl and then there about some stupid shit that I don't give a fuck about. And then what whatever. if Cheryl disagrees with your love interest? For <laughs> example, like if she's more of an Edward, you're more of a Jacob. This is, I don't think you and Cheryl yeah, would get along yeah, in the same yeah, capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, I never really talked to the girl. Do you have cards in here? I do not have Twilight. Is, no. How do you pick the actual cards that go? Do you just go to like thrift stores and stuff? Uh, I just a, bought a bunch of stuff. I'm a hoarder. I sell shit on eBay. This is just fits in with my thing. What's and the best thing you've sold? What's like the thing that you've been so like sad to part with? With. I'm no longer attached with anything. I used I to understand. be attached to things, but uh, at this point in the game, I don't. I could. It's. It's just. Just. It's just stuff. That's very Dallas. It's just more stuff. It's just. And it's. There's. I'm good now. It's just. Uh, I have too much. I can't even. I couldn't even put all that I have on eBay. That are like I don't need to buy it. Other than I need write-offs. Right. Oh really? Okay. So it's a tax. I have to buy more things because I have income coming in and I've already paid for all that stuff. So I, I have to keep, you know. You got the tax benefits to the cards. I didn't, I didn't anticipate that. Well, because also I'm buying these and I'm buying like a whole, I'll buy like a whole, thir- I'll buy yeah. 36 of these. Well, that's so part of the day. I mean, you're recording And then it. I'm now making these more valuable by making it more of a thing because right. people aren't doing this. Some people are. And then I can sell them for more in the future too. This is it's all, there's so much going on. This is valuable information. There's a well, lot going on. I will on. say, I have, the, so in Burlington, there's this big thing with like reselling. Because sure. I like I don't know how much I mean I'm sure you thrift a lot considering that you have like the back catalog of all the stuff. I used to more, yes. But like the there's a big thing with like the thrift market and so a lot of things like a lot of businesses like Goodwill or whatever where you can get stuff for cheap are like ransacked, there's nothing in yeah, them. Of course. And then people will like upsell you some crap that they bought at Goodwill for like sure. five hundred bucks or whatever. Sure. Which like personally I'm not a big fan of. Like, if that's your hustle, that's your hustle, I suppose. But it's like, it's always one of those things where it's like, I just feel like it's not adding anything to the product. Like, some people refurbish, I guess. But, sure. like, a lot of it's just like, sure. hey, I went to Goodwill for three hours, and now I'm going to, like, that labor in and of itself is worth God knows how much. But I Well, know. the only thing about that is that sometimes it's those... Hmm. There's a joke about antique dealers. Yeah. Okay. So it, there's a there's an old joke. It's like, uh, uh, like uh, three antique dealers are on a plane and the plane crashes on a deserted island and they all make a pretty comfortable living, because you end up selling to each other. So right. that's the whole thing. <laughs> like, so this. By the way, in real time on camera, you can see me not getting that yeah, joke and being fine. like, it's like fine. searching for it. And yeah. Then I yeah. Yeah. But it's we a, in up. a sense like yes, there are people who are like exploiting 
eh, their knowledge versus the the flea market or the the thrift store thing but those are the people that keep coming back week after week and keep putting income into that thing like yeah. the store if they're smart they freak it and and a lot of thrift stores do this you can go on ebay and there are thrift stores all around the country that sell stuff direct to that because they pull their good things right well if a store isn't doing that whose fault is that that's you're not doing anything wrong yes is it better to pick up the garbage that's on the street that's going to be going to the uh uh dump one thousand percent and turning that into a profit is the best but that's the without thing. a doubt but can you do that full time it's getting harder and harder but do you need to mix it with other stuff yes this is the thing though. have you ever had bed bugs before oh no i have not okay i admire you i have not had them well, yeah, but, but you have, have to be conscious. A There's... horrendous fear of bed bugs. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. But people, if you have bed bugs, you don't get rid of one piece of furniture. Yeah, for but that's, example. But that's the thing people do. And then it's like, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you were saying you go to New York City a lot. Yes. There's st- like, I'm wary of. They're anywhere. all over Paris right now, apparently. Bed, bed bugs. bugs in, bed bugs are all over Paris going right abroad. now. Because you're, people are getting them in the theater. You're going to a movie. Uh, they're sh- in the theaters and stuff, and then you're the sitting thing. there, and then and then moving them through. I whatever. almost feel bad like bringing them up to anyone because it's one of those things where once you know they exist, it's like good luck ever interacting with a piece of cloth again because you will uh, really be scared. Yeah, but people have told me that about everything, about books. You have to worry about those little worm. There's you can, you can live your life fearing. Th- you know, my parents when I was small, yeah. they're like, you can't be barefoot. You can't run around barefoot. You're gonna step on something. And then one day I took my shoes off and I ran around. And yeah, I will eventually step on something. But all those days where I'm fucking barefoot kicks ass above the one time I step on something. Oh, that's interesting. See, I, you know live, I, mean? in a, I live in a world of hypothetical catastrophes where I'm like, the hypothetical Don't world go to, yeah. where I step on a needle and then I am dead forever is like outweighs the bad, the slight advantage I feel of like, Hell yeah, my big toe's on the fucking pavement right now. This feels well. Well, pavement's you know not good. Grass, though, is wonderful. But do you remember? Moss is even better. My big thing with, like, do you remember? I mean, during COVID, I remember being so depressed. By the way, unsurprising. It was a depressing time. But, like, sure. I was, I'm a big hypochondriac, so I took it, like, for real, for real serious sure. to an extent that helped no one. But I was, like, whenever I was upset, people would be like, you just got to, hey. You just kind of take your socks off and touch grass with your feet. And yeah. I was like, you don't understand well, the weight of the, the world. Because well, I was also like 19. You can, and like that you can, you're like just aware that there are problems. And so you're like, have you heard about the economy? It's in the tank right now. I'm sure. not going to touch grass. But then you kind of like get used to it a little bit. You know? No, you got to touch the grass. You got to touch. Hey, guys at home. You got to touch grass. Yeah. Stop sitting inside. You got to take your shoes off and touch grass. And if you touch a needle, go to your local physician and deal with it. But I don't know. I guess I I guess I could be more. I'm trying to be more like calm about things, you know, where it's like, yeah, maybe there's a heroin needle on the ground or like maybe this movie theater has bed bugs. Yeah. But you, you never know. You can't live your life that way because that's always the you can't then you'd never leave your house or then even then you can oh the satellites are gonna fall on me. Yeah, I mean, there's always something to worry about. I guess about. you're right. Well, 5G is you like a whole to do. You don't even. People you gotta, give a shit you about can't, 5G, you, man. You, I just. I'm not. There's s- real thing. Like, hey, you know, the waters are rising. That's true. Although, you know. <laughs> God. Hey. Like, but hey. Uh, so uh, anyway, okay. so the Hunger Games. So Hunger Games. Um, I mean, we love the Hunger Games. Uh, it, it's so good. I love the fact that all those kids fought each other. Um, <laughs> I never figured out how it ends, so I don't know if they stopped fighting each other. I hope they did child fighting is good well we've clearly done enough time yeah. so so that was hunger games this was matt and on that note yes hello america my name is matt Haverty. um i guess okay and opening cards comedians opening cards no coffee all right it's uh wednesday night in uh burlington vermont and uh we're just chit chat <laughs> Good. Thanks, Thanks, Dave.